Hi everybody, I'm back. Thank you all for your patience and love and support and those of you who've sent me private messages. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love and thank you for your support. But I went to the Dollar Tree. Now granted, I went to the Dollar Tree in Rolla for like some staple items, but then got some other stuff while I was there because why not? Um, we were in need of some household items. And then of course I wanted to see if we had any of that beautiful black and white buffalo check yet, which we didn't, thank goodness. Well, not thank goodness, but I didn't miss it. Let's put it that way. Um, those friends who have Dollar Tree connections let, let, told me that it was due out like in September. So I figured some people had it in their stores already, some people didn't, so. So, um, if you are interested at all on what's been going on, I may or may not share it tomorrow. Well, I guess that would be later today on the vlog channel um, to see how I feel tomorrow. And if I feel good enough, then I'll share it. If not, stay tuned. I'm sure we'll fill it in on what's going on. So, first, what we went for. <laughs> I needed tissues. We were out. So I got four boxes of my favorite Scotties. These are Scotties two ply, 148 tissues per box. I think that these are perfectly wonderful tissues. Um, we got one in this uh, type of box and these two in that type of box and that one in that type of box. Um, I love these tissues. I think they're a perfect value. I don't care for tissues with lotion because of my allergies I just feel like the amount of time I use tissues that I feel like my face feels greasy all the time but that's just my own personal thing that's why in case you're curious why I don't use tissues for lotion we also needed some pop-up foil this is my favorite pop-up foil they do sell one that's got 30 sheets in it but the Reynolds for me just has always been like less tarry oh, that sounds silly the other one is a little the sheets are a little bit bigger but these ones fit perfectly in our cookie sheets for when we're doing anything like anything from like Aunt Helen's Parmesan chicken to um, wrapping sandwiches, you know, it's just it's the perfect go to. Each one has 25 pieces of foil. Um, and then I think there was one more. Oh, okay. One of the things that I had on my list they did not have, which was I found these really great. Do I even have it anymore? Now I found these really great like pure kick electrolytes in watermelon strawberry. They were so good. I should have gotten like a thousand of them then because now that I'm eating a lot less carbohydrates, I'm needing to have like electrolytes. So I'm having Propel water or some, you know, um, uh, Powerade Zero we're picking up tomorrow, that kind of stuff just to replace. But I liked the, uh, the pure kick because it didn't have as much sodium as like Gatorade does. So that's why I got that. But while we were there looking in the section, they did have this. This is Sunkissed, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, but it's orange peach mango. And those are just, a, that's a combination that Jimmy really likes. And he said he would love to try it. And this is the kind that you just mix into a bottle of water. If you're interested, I have a, a core water bottle that I reuse. It is more ounces. Um, it is 23, like almost 24 ounces. Um, and I put like what, once one of those sleeves is for 16.9 ounce. And I put it in here because I don't like it as concentrated or as sweet. As long as you get all of them in, it doesn't make a difference how liquid you make it. Um, the other thing we went for besides the electrolytes, which they didn't have, and they did have these, was Jimmy needed another pair of readers. He is misplacing them. Um, but that's okay because that's why we get them at the Dollar Tree so we can if they fall in the garbage can and go in the garbage It's okay. We just pick up another pair um, These are 2.5 Magnification with wire frames. Those are the ones that he likes for reading and such because he uses less of a magnification at the computer Thanks to one of you who gave us that great tip Okay, so that's it for the things that we needed Let's go over some of the things that we wanted <laughs> So I found a couple of really fun things that I hadn't seen before. And actually one thing that I, well, I will be honest with you. I haven't been 
filming for YouTube and I really haven't been watching much YouTube. I've been keeping up with Peter and Mary and Sarah Jane when she posts videos, but really that's it. So I haven't seen some of this stuff hauled, but it doesn't mean you haven't. It just means I haven't. So let me share with you first the autumn item. So over by over by the houseware section is where some of the autumn kitchen stuff is usually located in my store. Um, and over there, I found the world's cutest little pumpkin tray. It is just like a really pale, I don't even want to say like, I, mean, I feel like it's pale yellow, but it's got a tiny undertone of peach, uh, but it's pearlescent or iridescent or pearlesque or whatever you want to say. Um, and it's really cute. It's just a little tray and it's actually like grooved like an actual pumpkin in the back. It's, you hear it. So I just picked up one. I actually, it's funny because I'm like, Jim, can I get this? He's like, do you have one? And I'm like, yeah. do you need it? And I'm like, well, I need it, but I could use it, you know? And he's like, well, let me go ahead and get it. One thing that was also at the area with this plate were these paper bowls. You get two paper bowls per pack. This one is orange on the inside and says thankful. And it has the triple orange print from like last year and year before on, on two sides and on two sides, it's got this beautiful leaf pattern and they're really big, like, like they're really big. But this one I thought would be really pretty to use the inside and I'll show you because on the outside it has this beautiful leaf pattern against a wood grain background and the inside is just like this wood grain. So it's like all this cardboard and you can kind of see like the seams and stuff. I'll be silly later. You can kind of see the seams and stuff and that really great um, uh, woodwork. Um, there's also leaves on the very bottom. It's just really pretty. And I thought maybe we could come up with something. I don't have anything in mind yet. I just was thought that they were really pretty and they'd be nice for DIYing or you can use them for serving too, so. I just got a couple of Halloween items. Um, Jim actually was like, fell in love with this right away. And he said, um, I'm gonna take a picture and send it to Lisa's grandsons and say like, look, I'm gonna eat your brains or something. He's weird. But it's this beautiful iridescent skull drink vessel, cup, water bottle, cup thing, I don't know, straw. And then the other thing that I got, that I thought was super, super cute. And I got it to make a different Halloween mask hat, not mask, for my gnome is this really cute pair of socks. This long pair of socks is like just mummy wrapped. And what I liked about it is most sock prints, and I guess this one as well, um, are so that you can see them like this. And they're not always good for using for hats uh, for the gnomes because then the patterns are all upside down. But this one, it's just eyeballs peeking out and they could go in either direction. And I thought that that'd be good to have. So they're extra long socks. They're in sizes five to nine, knee high is what they call them, knee high socks. I thought they were so cute. So we picked up those. We have some wrapped items. Um, I saw these. I actually feel like Jamie from um, the DIY crafty guy. I think it was Jamie on his Instagram, perhaps. I'm not even a hundred percent sure where I saw them. I think it's what it is. So you guys let me know if you saw them somewhere else, but I think Jamie, if you're watching, I think this was from your inspiration, but I saw these really cute hands and I don't know that many of you know this, but my maiden name is Adams. And when we were growing up, people used to sing the Adams family theme song to us. And my cousins used to call us Cousin It. And anyway, this just reminds me of Sting. Do you guys remember? Um, I picked up two because I like things to be like in sets, but um, it's just a white hand. Um, Jimmy said, don't you have uh, tea light holders that are white hands already? And I said, well, I have skeleton hands that go like this and the tea lights sit in the palm of the skeleton, like the skeleton hand. This one is different. This is just like a creepy hand and it came in black and white, but we picked up two white ones because just because and there's the second one um they had a new sign at least it was new to me 
me, let me put it that way. Um, I just, it was like just screaming me. So it's pumpkin spice and everything nice, but it's on a gray wood background, which I really love. Um, I love the traditional colors that are in the accessories um, going along with the gray. And uh, that's like the perfect, do you see that? That's like the same color as my walls. I'm not crazy about the fact that um, it's even on this side, but it's actually like hanging over a lot on that side. So I don't know if they ran out of like the proper size or they didn't file it down, but I can file it down. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I can file it down, but if I do, just to show you like, you see how uneven it will be. So that was it. The only ones that they had were all laid out like this. Um, it comes with a jute hanger, so very farmhouse. The pumpkin spice is in like a gold glitter and the rest of it is in like white writing with silver glitter to give it that sort of like tiny bit of bling kind of thing. And I, I just think it's really, really pretty. It's not too glittery. I love the font. I I do do like the shake fall off as you guys remember. If you remember, if you're not, if you're new to here, hi, I'm Daria. Um, but what I do normally is I try to give everything a really good shake at the Dollar Tree because they're already covered with glare. Um, but um, as far as the words are concerned in this, this part, it's kind of a little difficult to read for me. I'm having like, you know, when it's the colors are too similar, Sometimes it's hard for me to make it out, um, but I just really think it's very pretty, so I wanted to get it. And along with Autumn, um, I got two of these. They had these pumpkin candle holders in this beautiful, uh, you know, it's blue. It is blue, but it's like a gray blue. It's not even like the teal blue that um, has been out this year, but it's like a it's like a gray blue. Do you see how pretty that is? It looks really blue next to my gray walls, but um, I picked up two of those. And to go with them, I found these gray tea lights. Yep, they're gray. Um, they are called Campfire Marshmallow. Toasted marshmallow, sorry. And they really have a nice smell. I don't know how their throw is gonna be or how long they're gonna last. I did order candles from my honorary niece, Eden, um, Candles of Eden, and I'm just waiting for them to come, but I didn't get tea lights and I really should have. Well, I didn't know that these things were going to be at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I, hindsight being what it is, um, but I just think how pretty, it looks in this really blue candle and really makes it pop blue. It's just really pretty. I think that they're so lovely. So I got a set of those and they smell pretty good. You get six for a dollar. I'm sorry, you get eight for a dollar in that package. So there, I guess two for a quarter that would be. It's not bad. And the rest of it is not holiday seasonal stuff. So I will show you what's next. I picked up two of these craft storage boxes by Crafter Square and I picked them up in red. And here's what I needed them for, or here's what I need them for. Um, my letter board letters, what I was thinking would be like a hack is my letter board letters um, I have in the Dollar Tree's pill container, but I only had one extra pill container. And that has 14 compartments. But of course, there's 26 letters in the alphabet, plus all the emojis, plus the punctuation. So I was like, hey, guess what? This has 12. And then they give you three little dividers to divide up some of the compartments to make them even smaller. Because like, Jimmy's like, what would you do with that tiny compartment? I'm like, well, the letter I, even though that there's eight of them, they still hardly take up any room. And the same with like the exclamation points and those types of things. So I definitely can do that. And I picked up two, I got them in red because my kitchen. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you guys know what a letter board is. I hope you do. I'll take a picture. I'll show you what I did for autumn. I'm trying to take a picture. I'm trying to remember to put it in here. Um, I found a paint pen. I know people have found paint pens. I have never found a paint pen. I was really excited. They only had black. Um, it's the kind where there's a ball in there and you have to shake it like a, tr like a real true paint pen. 
It's by Crafters Square and it's in black. And I don't know, thank you, Jim. It doesn't give me like ounces, like sometimes paint pens come in like ounces, um, but it just says shake the, shake, shoot, shake up and down with the cap on before use. Press the tip to plunge to get the ink to come down. And then to avoid, oh, to avoid blotting, position the tip upwards and depress it before um, initial use. So I just thought that was really neat. Jimmy went and got me this without being unsolicited, so thank you. Um, it says the trees are about to show us how beautiful letting go could be. And I, with everything that's been happening, um, that I've been working through, this was like the perfect inspirational statement for me. So thanks, honey. This is what a letter board is. So all of these letters will put in the compartment. I went and organized them the other day because every time up until this point, I've been pouring them out and I've been looking for the right letters and stuff. And it's just been too much. Here, love, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, they had a couple of things that were new in the kit or new to me in the kitchen area that I haven't seen before. Uh, but before we get into that real quick, I just want to show you, Jimmy picked up one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, he picked up six original um, Jack Link's uh, oh, they cheated me. wild, a wild stick in original flavor. So um, he picked up those. What did they cheat you about? They were in the box marked teriyaki. Uh, oh, you never looked? Oh, well, we can have done. I'll eat them. Me too. Me too. Um, Jim likes to, I'm sorry. Jim likes to uh, burn incense when he's doing his Bible study or reading or whatever he's doing, just like to have a Zen space. And he's been using like our emergency stick lighter from like our emergency kit. So we went ahead and picked up this. This Sarah Jane raves about the Scripto lighter. She's been using it for years. Um, it says, Sarah Jane. it says it's a hybrid. I don't really know what that means. Maybe it's butane and fuel. Oh. Is that what it says? Let me see if I got glasses on. Oh. Adjustable flame. Doesn't really say, but it's got a it's, it's got a novel thing for butane. And it's a big it's a big lighter, so I mean, scripto, scripto, right? Yeah. So this isn't necessarily new to Dollar Tree, but for me, it's been sort of that item that I've been chasing. Um, it is just a lemon zester. Are they calling it that? They're calling it a cheese grater. But to me, it feels very close to a microplane that you would zest lemons with. Obviously, you can grate cheese with that too. I'm not trying to say you can't, but um, that's what we needed it for a microplane. I actually had a Pamper Chef party recently um, and they were sold out of the microplane that I wanted. So I have it on my wish list for when it comes back in stock. But in the meantime, for a dollar, I picked this one up. Jimmy's doing a lot of new recipes that require lemon zest, which I'm really excited about. So we picked that up. I actually kind of like really like this one. It's got like a really great grip. You know, it's got like a stopper for your finger so that while you're zesting and it's got a thumb rest. It's, it seems like a really good one to be honest with you. So to pick that up. This to me seemed new. I have not seen this before. Now I bought this strictly for review purposes. I love my Pampered Chef um, garlic press, but I have to try this for you guys. This is a garlic press. It came in black, white, and red, so I picked up the white one. I talked to Jim, he's like, absolutely, we could try it, we could review it, and then we can give it away if that's okay. And I was like, absolutely, 100%. I don't mind that at all. So, um, it has very, very fine holes. So it must give you really, really fine garlic. Um, but it's got like a stopper on this side and just like looks like you just put the garlic in and press it out. I don't know. It opens completely flat for you to scrape your garlic out of here. So we will try it. We're going to do a couple of recipes and I will hopefully remember to let you guys know how that is. And then the last thing from the kitchen section that I thought was really cool and very new was 
drum roll please this avocado okay okay this avocado tool and then i'll cut it out let me show it to you first it's by betty crocker it doesn't look very huge for like big avocados but it definitely looks like something we could use for small avocados I don't want to say like, oh, we could use this for DIYs because it really just looks like a kitchen tool. Um, but um, one thing we've been doing is like having more avocados and fresh food. So I was like, oh, let's do, let's just try it. I know that we can get them for more money, but let's just try this one. So over here, it's got like the knife. It's plastic. It's like a plastic saw for cutting through the avocado. And then I don't know if you can like it kind of feels like if i whacked it hard enough i could get into the pit to twist it out but it definitely has the capability of slicing the avocado through i wish i had one to show you but grocery pickups tomorrow and that's it for everything except for my favorite brand of oil. i was just about to say goodbye well, technically, I said goodbye, and I found a bag. I thought it was a bag that I had already done, but I didn't. Two more kitchen items that I found that I'm so excited about were these black dish rags. I love the one, here honey, sorry. I love the 100% cotton dish rags that they have at the Dollar Tree, and I really like the black because I can use them to clean up my appliances and I don't have to worry about them getting stained. That's what I love about them. I do use Clorox to bleach to sanitize and then mom got the stuff from QVC that sanitizes anyway. So we picked up two packs of two each. And I knew I had more Halloween stuff. I found the tabletop decor um, for Halloween. Here, let's take a cheesy thumbnail. Um, I was so excited. They had the haunted house that says home sweet haunted home. And it's really cute. The suite and the home are in orange glitter and the rest is painted and they're tabletop decor. So they stand on their own. Um, I found the pumpkin and the pumpkin says trick or treat. The pumpkin's eyes, nose and mouth, the word trick are in black glitter. The or treat are white with orange glitter. And he's got a cute little raffia bow that's out of here because Jerry and raffia are not friends. And the last one, my personal favorite. It says, welcome my pretties. And it's got the witch's hat. And of course, you know, anybody who's ever seen the Wizard of Oz will call, you know, my pretties. And my pretties and the witch's band are in orange glitter and the word welcome is in black glitter. Yeah, black, I was thinking it was purple, but I think it's black. So I picked up those as well. Now to the exit. That's it for everything except for my favorite brand new item which again, brand new to me, I've not seen it, but you guys may have if you've seen someone else's holes. I'm so excited for this. I took a picture of the two that I didn't buy. I feel so lucky that I was able to find something like this. I was never, I never got the pictures um, in my store. They came to my store. They were, they had the pictures like Tuesday morning and they were sold out by Tuesday night. So I never got there to get them. So this to me was like runner up. Um, they had red, so it's, oh, so it's a little jar. <laughs> it's a little jar with a little like a uh, rubber seal. Um, it's just, you know, what would you use it for? I don't know, it doesn't really, this one doesn't really seal like airtight, but it does hold on there. You know, you don't hear it rattling. Um, this one is red and it says blessings. And this one was made for me. It is gray and it has a rooster on it. And I picked up two of these because I kind of have an idea of what I want to do with them. Um, this one does fit on a little bit more airtight. Like I really have to pull it to get it open. But I guess that's probably from jar to jar is probably um, what makes the difference. But they're so cute. So cute. They're little. I mean, look, they're little. But I think they're adorable. I think that... Um, They'll look really cute over by the coffee bar on the decorative shelves. Um, and then this one I actually been thinking about putting in my bathroom. So um, I got those as well. And that was my favorite item from this haul that I wanted to share with you. That my friends is everything. 
I'm so excited to be back with you and to share stuff with you. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody you know who might be interested in seeing what I picked up at the Dollar Tree today. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. When you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new button. Whenever I unload a new button, let's try that again, shall we? And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, thank you. Take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye.